I'm so excited to do this video. I have worn this several times now and I love it. So I wanted to do a wear test with you guys so you could see how it wears. It's so beautiful. I was not a fan of their original e.l.f. camo CC. It was just too heavy. It didn't look great on my skin, but the hydrating one is beautiful. I've, you know, I'm halfway done doing my eye makeup. Still have to finish it up, obviously. But um, we're going to just get into it. So I have my primer. This is the Lottie London Bubble Tea Primer. I'm almost done with it, so I just figured I'd finish it up. Get a different primer. Well, it should be enough. Oh my gosh, I love this foundation so much. It's so, so pretty. I have to look through the viewfinder since my mirror's too far back. That was barely enough primer. Super dark outside today. It's really stormy and it's like 6 a.m. and it's pitch black. I need to fix this chair because it's been so squeaky. I cannot take it. Okay, I have the shade Light 280N. Give it a good shake. I thought that maybe I was going to need a darker shade. So we're going to start with just one pump. Just one pump. I thought I would need a darker shade, like a light medium shade, because you know I'm always self-tanned. But honestly, the shade works really nice. I actually really like this with a brush. I actually like it both, Br brush and beauty blender. So I'll show you this side with a brush. And it's just so pretty. I get great wear time out of this. My skin just looks so pretty. Like, look at that. It's so pretty. I really enjoy this foundation. It is kind of a pricier foundation now. Like drugstore foundations are getting to be so expensive, especially e.l.f. I want to say this was like, I don't know, around $15 or so at Ulta. I could hardly believe it. Like, oh my gosh. Since when? Like, look at how pretty that is. If it zooms on my face. There we go. Like, isn't that so pretty? And this is just one pump. So let me do a beauty blender on the other side. I usually don't do half and half anymore. I used to back in the day. Man, I used to do foundation wear tests like it was going out of business. Oh my gosh, guys, you don't know how good it feels back. <laughs> it feels to be back in filming. I know I haven't had a ton of YouTube videos up, but I've had a ton of content on my Instagram and my TikTok. So if you want to see more of like what I'm doing, I have like a bunch of swatch videos and stuff of like a bunch of new lip products that came out. I have my perfume TikTok with Sam, it's with Sam and Cass. Okay, so that was one full pump. It almost did, you know, pretty good coverage all over the entire face. But my forehead needs a little bit more. So I'm just gonna kind of dab around here. Um, anyways, I'm having so much fun. I'm gonna go back in with the brush. Doing this perfume TikTok with Sam. It was like such a fun idea that she had. And it's just a fun way for us to do something together because obviously it's really hard when you don't live close to your best friend. And so it's something that like, you know, gives us something to do together. Um, it's been really fun. And you guys know, like if you have a long distance bestie, like it's a lot of work to keep up a long distance friendship. It really is. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of intentionality. And so it's just another fun way for us to stay connected, um, especially like she's busy, she's got kiddos, I'm busy, I have kiddos, and um, it just could be really easy to let those like long distance friendships like not be as close. And we're like sisters, so it's like we don't ever want to feel like we're not close. All right, I blended that down my neck. When I have like fake lights on, artificial lights, it is going to show up a little bit more glowy because the light is directly on it, but it's so pretty. Like it's so pretty. It looks very natural. There's like a little bit of skin I can still see peeking through and it just feels nice on the skin. Like it doesn't feel heavy. It is a thicker consistency than some of my other foundations that I typically go for. But again, it's not a heavy foundation. It doesn't feel thick and heavy on the skin. Covers beautifully. Gives a nice radiant dewiness. I'm going to finish up with the rest of my makeup and then I'm going to show you what it looks like with, you know, makeup and stuff on over it. Like my concealer, bronzer, all of that, because you still do get a really pretty radiant glow. 
um, even, even once you powder it. So this is what it looks like. It's currently, what time is it? Six something? 6 17 a.m. So let me go finish up and then we'll check back in and I'll show you what it looks like all finished. Was that a jump scare? <laughs> Oh my gosh, the bangs are banging today and I am here for it. Okay, so let's see. I've gotten dressed, did my hair, finished my makeup, got my kids ready for school. It's now 7.45 and everything just applies so pretty. But do you see how like there's still a glowiness? Like in the bright light, it might... Excuse me, boys. No, thank you. Not in here. Go, go, go. Don't be dirty. Okay, so in the bright light... You're going to obviously have a little bit more, like, it's going to look a little bit more glowy and dewy because I have, like, bright light shining on me, right? But um, in, like, a natural light situation, it just looks like a glowy from within. It's so pretty. I also tried a new powder today for my um, highlight. It's the new e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. I use the rose-colored one and it does give like I would not set my whole face with this otherwise it would be a disco ball but um I did that kind of like right on top of my cheekbones and then I went in with a Jaclyn Hill powder over it so if you want something super subtle that's really great um and then obviously what I went over is still pretty subtle it's not like a real beaming highlight is so pretty I'll keep you throughout the day like showing you how it wears I um what was I gonna say I'm going to go walk the treadmill at the gym because I can't lift weights yet because I'm only a little over two weeks post-op from my hernia surgery. Um, I had an umbilical hernia when I was pregnant with Liv, and so I finally got it fixed because I had to wait till I was, you know, completely done having kiddos. And my youngest is now two. So um, got that fixed, and then I can't lift heavy uh, for about three to four weeks post-op. But I am going to go walk the treadmill, and I'm going to go do a yoga class. Look at this little sweet face. Hi. Hi. Look at him. He literally is like human. Can you show them your cute face? Oh, he has the most human eyes ever. I swear he was a human in another life. Um, so anyways, uh, my hair is really just looking so good today though. I washed it last night and I tried a new thing with my bangs because I've just had a heck of a time. I get McDonald's arches for bangs in the morning. And so I tried something t different today and I love it. It's going to be my new thing. So I will be back in a few hours to show you how it held up. And I just love this foundation. Like I already know I love it, but I'm just going to share with you like how much I love it throughout the day. Also, you guys didn't tell me my lipstick was wearing off. I had breakfast. I'm trying this new, um, like sometimes I get in these moods where I want like a delivery service meal that's already meal prepped because um, I'm trying to do some gut health stuff and I found this brand called Sakara. not sponsored. They don't know who I am. So I tried a week of it this week and I've been splitting them with my husband and gosh, they're really good so far. And I'm a super picky eater. Like I'm very basic when it comes to vegetables. Like I hardly eat vegetables. I chalk it up to being from Alaska and never having like fresh fruit or vegetables where I lived growing up. And so... I, uh, I'm trying to eat a lot more clean. If you want to know what was on my lips, Mac Whirl. Then I went in with, uh, Velvet Teddy. No, Honey Love. And then a little bit of Peach Shimmer Glass from Tarte. And then on my eyes is the Mario Matte Palette and the Mar Mario Ethereal Eyes Palette. My cheeks are She's Blush Blushing, She's Blushing by Patrick Ta. So, all right, I will be back in a few hours. We'll see how it's wearing. All right, guys, I'm back with a check-in. It is now 11.19. I went and walked on the treadmill for about 40 minutes and then went to yoga class, came home, made a really good yummy breakfast, and now I'm getting ready to start working. And so I figured I would do a check-in to show you how it is all holding up. Don't mind right here. I've been blowing my nose. I've been trying to get over a cold for like three weeks. It's just lingering and lasting forever. But it's looking so pretty. Let me even turn off, like, there we go. Turn off some of the artificial light. It's just so pretty. I love the way it looks, even in person. Like, it's glowing from within. This, like, is not oily. Like, I'm touching that. You can see it's not oily. It's just that shine and that, not shine, that glow from within. Ready, and we're already at almost, what, 
five hours. We're just shy of five hours of wear and it looks, it looks so pretty. So I'll check in again in a little bit and show you how it's holding up. All right, we're wrapping up this video. It is 610. I've had this on for 12 hours now and I have done Pilates class, walking at the gym, cooking dinner, filming all day, editing, and 12 hours of wear have not touched up at all. My nose earlier today, so it's a little bit worn off, but it's held up great. I think it looks beautiful. In person, it looks even better than it does on camera. A dewy hydrating foundation. My skin does look dewy and hydrated, but it doesn't look oily. It doesn't feel oily. Like even when I touch where it looks a little shiny, like I don't feel like I have a bunch of foundation residue on my on my fingers. So that is it for today's wear test. I hope you guys enjoyed. If there's a foundation you'd like to see a wear test for, please let me know in the comments below. I don't know which one I'll do next. I have quite a few foundations. I think I might try the um, Laura Mercier Flawless Foundation if I don't already have a video up on my channel because I just got their new concealers and I thought it'd be kind of fun to try them both together. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.